Gotta be sarcastic about it, huh? Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobo Kia statue review on the Marvel Bishoujo Thor statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can order it at Big, 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 Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And thank you so much, Kotobo Kia, for making this review possible. If you want to see the latest from them, be sure to check the link in the description below. And man, the packaging for this thing is huge. About 13 and a half inches tall. Very tall statue of course because of the pose nice looking Jane Foster Thor and then on the side you can see a helmetless Thor which we haven't seen in the comics yet and then we have Thor right over here once again there's a read up which is very tricky to read so good luck to you and then on the side right there you can see we have Loki coming soon now on this side we get Lady Thor again and then there's some more Lady Thor at the top and not much more at the bottom all right let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the mighty Thor out of the packaging and Kotobukiya did a fantastic job with this piece. I really like this Thor statue a lot. I think she looks great. I love all the sculpted details that we get on this thing. I mean, look at this cape over here. I think that is gorgeous. I really like how the hair is moving off to the side. The silver on her helmet looks great. And same thing with the breastplate over there and Mjolnir. Just the silver on this piece is just very good looking. It's not the most attractive Bishoujo statue in my collection, but as far as just a good Jane Foster Thor, I mean, this is fantastic. I really like it a lot. Anyway, let's take a closer look. So here's a closer look at Mjolnir. Again, the silver paint is very bright on this thing, and I don't have my settings turned up very bright at all. I mean, look how shiny that is. I really dig it a lot. So as far as assembly goes, this is actually the only part that you really need to assemble with the figure, or the statue anyway. Uh, you just pop off the handle like so, and then you can see that you get this crescent shape right here, So you, or the half circle anyway. You want that facing upwards as you weave it through her hand. So just weave that right through there. And you can see it pop up right there. And then you just reattach Mjolnir and make sure that that matches the shape. And bam, that is very easy to do. And then you could adjust it uh, up and down her hand as you'd like. Now the statue comes with two head sculpts. And this is actually one of my gripes. I mean, we never really see Jane Foster Thor like this in the comics. I have not seen her like this. It's kind of like a secret, you know, how she looks without her helmet on. For a while, we didn't know it was Jane Foster. So when we see Thor helmetless, she's Cancer Thor. You know, she has a bandana over her hair and everything. Or she doesn't have any hair and stuff like that. But I can see where they're going with it. You know, the, this is kind of like the whole theme, the pretty girl girl theme is what Bishoujo is supposed to translate into, even though I personally believe it translates into something else, but you know, we'll just agree to disagree on that. But anyway, looking at the hair, I think it looks great. It does look very impressive. I really like how that's wafting in the wind and everything, and you get very subtle color variation, which I always appreciate, you know, that looks so cool. And looking on the side right there, it doesn't look too bad. But I do think it looks pretty. I mean, what they actually gave us here it does look really nice. I can't say I don't like it. You know, she looks beautiful to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, switching these heads isn't really the funnest thing in the world. Uh, it, it's just a little uh, stiff trying to get that off there. And I don't want to scuff anything. What not? As you can see, that arm looks like it has a little bit of a scuff. I don't know if that happened just right out of the packaging or from me moving the heads around. But man, look at that helmet. I think this looks so awesome. And I love that they blackened the eyes over here. I think that looks really cool. But I love that silver on her helmet though, man. Ah, that looks so great. Very pleased with that. And you have that metallic green on her forehead too. Ah, oh, jeez. I think that looks so awesome. I'm really digging that a lot. That helmet is just spectacular. I'm really digging that, man. Can't tell you enough how much I like it. But yeah, looking at the hair again, looks really good. So, you know, fairly consistent with the other hair that we saw. Um, I just want to zoom up over here, looking at that gauntlet around her wrist. Or her forearm anyway, I think that looks really nice. I like the little wrinkles right here on the sleeve. Then moving right down here. I really like the flesh tone on this and I'm glad that they still gave her some muscles, you know. She's supposed to, you know, be a strong woman so her shoulder muscles and her bicep still looks pretty good. A little on the thinner side, you know, but, you know, still muscular. And then that breastplate, man, 
very nice shiny silver right there and you know like they couldn't you know usually they sexy up these characters and this one the costume just doesn't really allow it it just covers up a lot so that's not to the fault of Kotobukiya at all you know and what they've done here is they've kind of thickened up her legs a little bit kind of have her butt sticking out which looks nice you know I like the attention to detail with all these little silver bits right here I love how this piece floats upwards a little bit so get some nice flowing movement throughout with the statue I love that I think that looks great. And then the boots right here look really good too, or the strappings around her legs look nice. That's cool. I like her little silver booties. That's cool. I dig that a lot. But yeah, man, I really like the flow with all the material right here. Oh, it's not real material, but yeah. Anyway, looking at the cape, I think it looks great as well. You get some very subtle black in these creases here too. And then looking at the rocks for the base, man. Wow, that is sick. I love that. So realistic looking. Man. The painting work from Kotobukiya is just untouchable. I, I, I'm just floored by it every time. I guess if you really wanted to, you could get a sneak peek of her butt cheeks by looking up the skirt, but I mean, I don't know. I think that's kind of going too far, maybe. I don't know. Not for this YouTube channel! And to measure out this statue, you can see that Thor is standing up to the 12-inch mark with Mjolnir right there, but to the top of her head, it's closer to 10 inches. And then comparing Thor to a couple other Avengers Bishoujo statues, we have She-Hulk and the Wasp. And I really like how these scale together. I love that she's bigger than Wasp. She should be taller and larger than Wasp, but definitely smaller than She-Hulk. The scaling works out great with these three. Then for your Jane Foster Thor comparison, we have the Bishoujo Thor compared to the Diamond Select Thor right here. And you can see the differences between these two. They definitely trimmed her arms down just a little bit right here, especially compared to this one. Uh, I feel like this is a little bit more comic accurate. So yeah, they did uh, feminize her a little bit more so with this piece, just not as much as other Bishoujos, but still, I really like this a lot. I don't know, they're both good looking statues. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments below. And then comparing this Thor statue to your average six inch scale figure, here she is next to the Marvel Legends big time new let down Spider-Man. And here's a Thor statue once more with the helmetless head sculpt on there. I mean helmetless head sculpt or not, this is a beautiful piece. And I mean beautiful in the sense of what they've done here as far as all the fabric moving in the wind and everything. Very nice face sculpt. I have no problem with the work that they actually did on this thing, but I just prefer this one right here. It's the helmet, it's the head sculpt and the helmet that I'm using to seeing on Thor, you know? Uh, you know, male or female, I prefer to have a helmet on Thor, but especially this one, just because we haven't seen her without the helmet on, with the blonde hair flowing in the wind like that. Unless I'm totally wrong about that. If I am wrong, let me know in the comments, but I'm pretty sure we haven't seen her like that yet. So, I mean, with that being my only serious complaint with this, I think it's a great statue, and I highly recommend it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell so your phone tells you when Shardmas Prime videos are being uploaded that very instant. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it's all over at MarvelousNews.com. And you can check out action figures that I have for sale over at ShardmasPrime.net. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. Shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face, I said we shot, we shot, we shot in your face,